Hey everybody! Hey everybody! We've got a very, very special episode of this little bit today because we have two guests today. We actually have a wonderful sister who I've also known for a lot longer than a lot of other people at the church. And, and her son, Josh, if you don't mind him being online. Hey, Josh, here you go, man. <laughs> Speaks like his dad. <laughs> so, uh, with that, so welcome, welcome to episode six of this little bit. And I'm going to introduce to you now our wonderful guest today. If you want to share with everybody your, your name and, and who is in your family, please. Oh, hello. All right, so my name's Amanda. Um, so I have Joshy in my life. I also have my husband Aaron uh, and a little six month old called Michaela. A six month old. And how do you enjoy being a mum? Oh, yeah, it's good fun. It's uh, definitely a challenge, but it's a blessing at the same time. So I can't, com I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> and off he goes. Uh, that, that, that's cool. Okay, so I, I guess then for you, uh, how long have you been a Christian for? Um, well, so I was brought up in a Christian family. Um, so um, I think my actual relationship with God, like personally, where I actually felt that um, I was ready to do the commitment was probably um, maybe when I was a, in about year, would have been sort of younger high school, I think. Younger yeah. high school, so, like sort of year seven, year eight. Yeah, about year there. seven, year eight. Um, I, w I was quite highly influenced um, by my um, scripture teacher. Hang on, buddy. Um, by my scripture teacher. Um, and so, yeah, so she was a really um, positive influence in my life. Um, so, yeah, so no, it was, yeah, it was really, really good. It was quite early. Yeah, quite early. That, that's actually that. really cool. Being a scripture teacher myself, so I was always a teacher scripture at a local high school. Um, that's really cool to see how the product of not only your family life, but the influence of various people that you encounter in that as well. So the fact that it was a scripture teacher that was a, a sort of influential person, mm. I think it's quite, so can I ask then, um, what was it then about the scripture teacher in combination with everything else that, that sort of enabled you to take your relationship with God more seriously? I think um, for me, I found it was coming, she came from, uh, so she was, um, so she had been a scripture teacher for a long time and so she was a little bit older as well and so I guess she was sort of like a motherly sort of person um, being um, also like Caucasian as well. Um, I think uh, growing up in a, in a Christian household every, everyone's sort of Chinese yeah, Christian yeah, okay. um, and so my family and then my church life it was all like the same sort of um, cohort I guess yeah. in a sense. Uh, and then to see someone sort of externally and, and just her different views on, on the same things that we had already believed in, yeah. but just how she approached it. And I guess being a scripture teacher and knowing how to, to talk to high school students about this sort of thing. Yeah, um, yeah something just sort of clicked and, and it made more sense, I guess, in the way that she had explained it. Okay. Uh, and so, I don't know, I, I, something about the way that she taught just really sort of <laughs> encouraged me. Uh, and yeah, no. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So one of the things I like about Amanda and the fact that I, I used to refer to her, not that she's still not now, but I used to refer to her as Miracle. That was like my nickname for her. The reason being is she is a third generation Christian, which surprisingly is quite uncommon. Okay, like it said, God doesn't have grandchildren. So her, her parents are a very godly couple who attend this church as well, which I'm very thankful for. But her grandparents on both sides are just one. Yeah, both sides. And both sides as well oh, okay. are Christians. Okay. And now, prayerfully, little Josh here and Michaela will be miracles in turn to be a fourth generation. Yeah, and it, it just shows the, the importance of investing into your kids, especially with the things of God. I think it's great, really awesome. So she's still a miracle now. She's still a third generation Christian. Um, your sister as well. How's she going with the Lord? Do you have how many, how many sisters and brothers? Um, so I've got two sisters and a brother. Okay. And yeah. where are they at spiritually, if you don't mind me asking? Um, yeah, no, they're, so they're all going well in their walks, from what I can tell. Um, right. So both my sisters attend other churches closer to where they live and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's <coughs> cool. And can I ask them, what would, be, um, what would be one of the greatest encouragements for you personally as a Christian? And in your life of being a Christian since you were a young high school student, um, what would you say would be one of the greatest encouragements that you've received throughout the years that you can sort of just know and sort of rattle off now? 
The greatest encouragement? Um, well, I guess for me it was just seeing um, yeah, just seeing people who have been um, in relationship with the Lord for a long time. Yeah. Um, so that was a real encouragement for me. Like I remember um, growing up, uh, whenever we used to go back to Brunei to see my grandparents, um, they would, uh, whenever we were there, <clears throat> we'd always have um, like family um, worship time together. Um, and my grandma would always have this same slightly ratty old Bible that she had used for years and years. And it was always really encouraging to see. And like, you'd be able to flick through it and she'd have like scribbly notes all through it. And That's cool. Yeah. And so it was really nice to see that, um, <clears throat> that over the years, despite everything <clears throat> that she'd been through and whatnot, um, that yeah, she was still going strong for the Lord. And that was really, yeah, that was really encouraging. That, um, that's awesome. Because yeah. I, I have my grandfather's Bible, so mm. as well, same thing, all scribbles, and it's a really, really mm. cool thing. That's awesome, that's awesome. So, so with, this, with this episode, we now have four new guests, of which Amanda is our first, and I have given out two new questions, okay? Uh, these two questions, oh, I'm really keen to have your view on. Yeah. The first question is, um, how do you know God or Jesus is real? Well, I guess for me, it comes from um, like how. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. COVID, COVID, COVID sorry. <laughs> buddy. Um, I guess it's uh, yeah how how God has actually um, been in my life. Uh, so just how He's um, shown Himself and and brought me through things. Um, so I guess my life experiences have pointed to the fact that there has to be you know someone sort of watching over me and looking after me through all the things and and so yes yeah, so i guess through how he has shown himself in my life i guess is how i know that he's real <clears throat> okay that's right thank you very much for that so then how then can you communicate that to someone else because there are other people which would say similar things from different mm. belief systems now she didn't know this i'm actually throwing this out there mm. so how then could you communicate that to others then if you wanted to share that reality with somebody, if that makes sense. Because other people can say the same. They say, well, you know, I'm not a Christian, but I've had these things, mm. I believe. So how would you re how would you respond to that? Um, I don't know, really. I guess if, if I'd say, well, um, being in a relationship with God is something um, that, yeah, it is a, a personal thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, even if... Um, I guess even if it's something, hmm, let, let me think, let me think. <laughs> how do I get that, it? That's all good, I, I did throw a spanner in the works, yeah. so I'm sorry about no, that. No, no, that's all right. I think, um, yeah, I think it really comes down to, yeah, th this is something that I've experienced myself, so I can tell that for me it would be real. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess it would be something where you just kind of have to, um, experience it for yourself to know whether God, God is real in your life. I think there was a, a verse that um, a <clears throat> one of, I think, I can't remember whether it was you, Joe, or whether it was somebody else was saying. <laughs> Don't drink with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And, it's, and essentially, um, so I always re refer back to it when people say, oh, you know, how, how can you say it's real or not? And I say, oh, well, and there's a verse that I always liked. It was like, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yeah. And um, the analogy was, okay, well, if you're trying to describe something that you've eaten before, uh, let's say, I don't know, let's say honey. And you say, okay, well, try and describe honey to someone who's never had honey before. And you're like, well, you know, it's like this, it's like this, it's sweet, it's you know, a little bit you know, sticky on the tongue, that kind of thing. Um, but you never really know until you sort of experience it yourself. And so um, I guess what I'm trying to get at is, um, <laughs> what I'm trying to get at um, is, yeah, I mean, for me, this is how I've experienced how God is in my life. And that's yeah. how I can believe that uh, he's real for me. Um, and all I can do is I can encourage you to say, well, look, you know, see for yourself, see how... Um, God is able to show himself in your life because how he reveals himself to you will be very different from how he reveals himself to me because um, we're all different people. Yeah. We, okay. we learn right. different yeah, ways and we yeah. react different ways to things, um, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's cool, man. Yeah. Hey, look, thank, thank you very much for that. That was, once again, you actually handled yourself pretty really well considering I threw that out to you without any prior preparation. So well done, <laughs> well done. All right, so um, the second question then is, yeah. why, why don't eternal bliss in heaven get boring? Um, well, yeah, so... <laughs> So I was, I was thinking about this and I was like, oh, would it? And I, I personally think it wouldn't, purely for the fact that there, not only will there be a, an unlimited amount of facets of God that we will be able to be experiencing and learning, yeah. um, I think uh, just our experiences with everybody up there as well will be amazing. There are That's an true. unlimited number of people up there. Yeah. Um, that we can get to know as well. Um, just being in relationships with yeah. everyone. And it'll just be, yeah, it'll just be a lot of fun hanging out with <laughs> new people. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, even like the other day we were watching a, a movie with Joshi and the joy of him seeing something that he hadn't seen for the first time yeah. um, was really quite hilarious for me and Aaron. Yeah. But yeah, it got me thinking about how the, the there's something that we've never had before, something that we've never seen before, will yeah. will just well up in us. Um, yeah, this this true sort of that bliss, sense of wonder, and, yeah, yeah and, and all, all being awestruck. Yeah, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, I, I, I thank thank you very much for that, my sister. That's great. Thank you very much as well, Josh. Do you want to wave to the camera, Josh? Bye bye. Oh, yeah, we're going to say bye bye soon. Um, thank you. So once again, we're going to go through another three people going to answer the same two questions, and then I'll give my two cents in the episode after that. Um, but oh, once again, thank you so much for taking the time out to spend, for us to get to know you a little bit. Um, <laughs> Boys, yeah. If you'll allow me, I'd, I'd like to, be able to pray for you and the family, if that's okay, yeah. and then we'll call it quits, eh? Sure. All right, together. let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for my sister Amanda. I thank you for Aaron, little Joshy and Michaela as well. And for, I pray that for them as a family, they'll continue to unite, to be of one mind and of one heart. I pray that you'll give her wisdom, as she, and, and her and Aaron wisdom, as they seek to raise their child children in the way that they should go uh, so when they're older they will not depart from them. I pray that you will bless them now as they go about their day and that you will continue Lord to grow them from strength to strength not only as individuals but as a family as well. Uh, we ask you to dismiss us now we thank you so much for this time um, please bless them now in Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Alrighty thank you very much for that. Joshy yeah, thank, thank you, you sir yeah. that's alright good, good handshake man. <laughs> thank you very much for that sister. Everyone take care see you guys next week we have our next guest. God bless. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye now. All right.